I'm gonna turn back time And I'm gonna turn back time How you doing everybody and welcome to another exciting edition of the Slot Museum. My name is Charles. We are going to take a look at Share Live by Bally Technologies. It's going to be an exciting game. There's so many bonuses in this game. Uh, the design kind of has a feel of like Michael Jackson and, and ZZ Top and all those other games Bally base slot machines on musicians. Uh, this one does not disappoint. So let's go ahead and take a look at Share Live. This is Share Live uh, by Bally Technologies. It was developed by SoCal Slot Shop, I believe is the name. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pay tables. Uh, the wild symbol is our top symbol, followed by the VIP pass, and then the share CD, and it goes on from there. Uh, we also have a uh, scatter symbol, which is the share jackpot scatter symbol. Very nice. Uh, jackpots, jackpot scatter pays. Shows you where all the jackpots can appear if it, a wild appears. It does count if it's underneath the wild, which is pretty nice. Random wilds feature. And we got uh, mystery wilds and random wilds. Wow, this keeps going, doesn't it? <clears throat> all right. Uh, the concert wheel bonus is triggered by three shares. You can get the cash wheel bonus feature, which is probably the most frustrating uh, feature. The turn back time free games. Uh, do you believe free games? It's in his kiss free games. And whatnot. Uh, all or nothing free games bonus. That should be interesting. We're going to get all these bonuses on today's episode. Here are the songs that are in the game. There's your pay lines. There are 30 pay lines. And there's the developer screen. SoCal Slut Shop. Share live. All right, let's put some money in and uh, play some share. All right, here we go. There's our VIP passes. That is the uh, second largest symbol that we could get on the game. Uh, this is my uh, second time playing this game, actually. Uh, the first time I played it, I used to work in Vegas, and I went to a local casino, and they just happened to uh, just install this game. That was about a year ago uh, from this recording. Come on. Oh, and I didn't do very well, and I didn't play it very long, so uh, I'm really looking at this game for the first time and kind of analyzing the game. At first, it feels like it's a Michael Jackson clone, which it kind of is as far as uh, some of the bonuses go, like the random wilds. But it seems like they took like Michael Jackson and merged it with David, uh, David, David Copperfield. Ugh. So they took some of the bonuses from those two games and kind of merged it into one. Let's get it. Oh. Uh, of course, uh, Michael Jackson had the bonus symbols in the middle. And this one has it on the uh, outsides in the middle. So it's on, uh, you, the bonus symbols only appear on one, three, and five. Uh, it seems like uh, they want to keep putting like one of the symbols as a CD. Uh, Michael Jackson had a CD, I think, in uh, the sequel and uh, Michael Jackson icon. Come on. Um, the pays are a little weak on this. Uh, I, it's definitely a lower volatility game. Um, it's all about that jackpot, I guess. 
Uh, all the musician games by Bally are, are kind of low volatility, uh, but they can go on like long streaks of not wanting to pay anything, as you can tell. Because we're not getting anything. Come on. Uh, the most common feature to get on the wheel spin when you get the bonus is the cash wheel. Uh, not a big fan of when games put uh, cash wheels on the wheels, except for like aristocrat games where if you do get a credit amount, you get to spin again until you get a bonus. Uh, I wish this game did have that feature. If they could figure out a way to to do that, it would have been a lot better. Just like um, Titanic does that. If you get credits, you keep spinning until uh, you land a bonus of some sorts. A beautiful, beautifully designed game here. Uh, there's no question about it. Um, the SoCal Slot Shop, which is the development team that made this game, did a fantastic job with the presentation on this. Um, not only with the graphics on the game, but the way uh, they used Bally's uh, lighting on the cabinet to really make this game shine. Come on. Uh, the lighting on this game is probably the best I have. Uh, when the tell comes up, if you don't know what a tell is, a tell is the graphic that comes up that, that tells you something uh, big is about to happen, whether it's a bonus or a line hit. Uh, the graphic changes colors, and it's synced with the side lighting on the cabinet, which is really cool. Um, I'm not a share fan, but uh, the way they designed this game was... They put a lot of uh, care into it, so... It's very clean. Oh, it's a very uh, clean. You know, other companies like Aristocrat, when they made Britney Spears, um, there's a lot going on in the graphics, and it's not very simple to look at. Um, it's kind of cluttered, and it seems like they kind of, uh, what some of the graphics you'll see on the in the bonus rounds and like on the top screen they kind of do that collage of video clips like they did with aristocrat but for some reason the the bally team behind this made it a lot more uh cleaner and simpler and it just looks elegant and uh the art department probably has a little bit more talent than the aristocrat team because i think it's a very clean looking game for how busy uh, the graphics could be, for example, like like Britney Spears, and you would think this game would be more um, glitz. It is glitzy. It's a glitzy game. There's no question about it. But it's just very well cleaned. I'll leave it at that. Let's get a bonus now. Let's do something. Oh, here we go. There it is! We got the share bonus. Very nice. So that was your tell. As you can tell, it's very classy looking. There's our top screen with all the, the montage. See, that's very, very well designed. It's not cluttered like Britney Spears. All right, let's go ahead and touch and slide the wheel. You can touch it from the bottom screen or the top screen. Come on. Oh, it looks like we're getting the cash wheel. All right, well, now we're going to touch and slide for a credit amount, and then there will be a multiplier. Oh, that 40 would have been nice. All right, so we got 12 bucks. Now it's spinning a multiplier. The fucked up part about this part of the bonus is there's a one times. That's nonsense. All right, two times.
All right, I believe this is Mystery Wild Reels. Yep. Oh, nice. Come on. All right, $228 hand pay. I forgot I set the machine to uh, pay out at $200. Very nice. $212. Fuck yes. Nice hit. All right, come on. Something more than a cash wheel. Alright, let's spin it. Touch and slide. Alright, strong enough. Here we go. I've never seen this bonus, so... Oh, God, what do we do? Let's go in the middle, we'll do 16. This bonus reminds me of Guardians of the North or Guardians of the South bonus. Ooh. 80, $83 on that one. Nice. Come on, more wilds, yes. Uh, $63 on that one. Very nice. Nice, come on. 34 bucks. I think this is my favorite bonus. Uh, we still have nine games left. Sixty-three twenty again. Yeah, the lighting uh, features on this game are absolutely outstanding. Um, I know I really don't show lighting too much, but this is awesome. And the reason why I don't show the lighting on the game that much is because uh, if I zoom out, you won't see it like it is to your naked eye. So sometimes I'll add it in, but have it at a different exposure so you can actually see what the light's doing. All right, let's get a full screen of wilds. Wouldn't that be nice? This is actually turning out to be a nice bonus. On, don't die. I do not think you can re-trigger on these. Oh, one more game after this one. All right, last game. Let's get something big. Full screen. Oh. Queen Diva win. Beautifully designed game. Uh, the art direction is just absolutely fantastic on this. All right, $256 on the Strong Enough bonus. Beautiful. Yeah, here we go.
All right, we got the Do You Believe again. Okay, so this one's an upgrade bonus. Line it up. Yeah, we got another believe. Very nice. Nice. We need more, though. Come on. All right. I'm getting those quite a bit in this bonus. Nice. 24 bucks and we got a belief symbol pending. So this bonus kind of reminds me a little bit like Carmen by WMS, where it upgrades the symbols. Or Buffalo Gold, even. Yes. Okay, all the tambourines are being replaced. Oh, full screen. Oh, my God. $336. Holy crap. And we got one game left. We didn't get an upgrade. Oh, wow. $336 just on that line head. Fuck yes. Woo. Fill it up. Okay, that was 9840. That was our last game. Nice. Back in the a concert wheel bonus. Let's see what we get this time. It's always a mystery with the wheel bonuses. Come on. All right, back into the turn back time. Very nice. Got a share coin show. Nice. We got a multiplier. Come on, some to the front. Another multiplier. 28 bucks. Nice. Oh. 
game left. This is the last one. Nice. Come on. Multipliers and a lot of wilds. Give me that two times. Ah. 640. Alright. 245 bucks and 60 cents. And that's Sherrific. Sherrific. Yes, all right, here we go. Another concert wheel bonus. Oh, come on. All right, the all or nothing bonus. This is a, uh, we've never gotten this bonus before. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna pick the one that shows the most titties. And I think it's this one. 10 free games, okay. What was the other ones? 15? Oh well. And that symbol is our nudging wild. Okay, nice. And I don't think it's stacked because we got way too many free games. Is she wearing, like... Oh, no, she is naked, right? She's not wearing a bodysuit. If she is, that would be lame. Um, come on, let's line it up. All right. Is this going to be our worst bonus? We only got five free games left. All right. I think she's, like, 80 years old or something. She's, she's old, but she still looks good. I guess that's what all that plastic surgery will do. It is a bodysuit. Come on. Land all three of them, for Christ's sakes. Oops. All right, 28 bucks. All or nothing bonus. Very nice. We just need one more bonus. Yeah, another bonus on Share Live. All right, we're gonna get something good this time. No more credit wheel, please. All right, let's touch and slide. Yeah. Come on. Finally. All right, so every time we get a shoot, we get either a multiplier or a free game. some good line hits. Yeah, 
time. We're not getting anything now. Come on, we need more games. Oh, come on. Okay, we got one more free game. Hopefully we get the shoop shoop and get some more games. Finally got all of the bonuses here on Share Live. Uh, just some final thoughts about the game. Um, I really like the design of this. Uh, like I said before, the attention to detail is amazing. It's a very clean design of a game. Um, it's not cluttered. It's just right as far as the graphics go. And uh, a lot is going on. Uh, compared to the other uh, Rockstar games that Valley has produced, which is like ZZ Top or or Michael Jackson King of Pop or any of the Michael Jacksons, um, I know I'm forgetting some. Even David Copperfield is this kind of style. Um, this one has to be my favorite as far as bonuses go. It is a little frustrating because it seems like you get the cash wheel way too much. Uh, than the bonuses and the bonuses can pay as much as the cash wheel so I know it's probably there for a um, reason for a math reason but I just think they could have maybe did something differently to avoid that and that's a shame because uh, the bonuses are, are unique on this one compared to like Michael Jackson and whatnot yes they are borrowed from other Bally games but um, I really like this one. Um, uh, the company, the the developer SoCal Slot Shop, they also developed a, a newer game called Guardians of the South and Guardians of the North. Uh, they borrowed a lot of features. I don't know from Share or if they borrowed features from that game to Share. I don't know which way it was, but they're very similar in their bonuses, yet very different. So. Um, a good game. I don't know if I would recommend playing it in the casino because sometimes the pays are pretty crappy, but we did see some good hits. So uh, if you play it, set yourself a limit, and hopefully uh, you can win big on it. It is possible, but very hard. And that is Share. All right, guys, what do you think of Share Live? Please leave in the comments below what you think of the game. Uh, there is a lot of negative things about it. There are some issues with the game, but overall, it is a, an experience if you like Share. I don't like Share, and I actually like the bonus games, so I kind of like the game. Uh, a lot of bonus features are in the game, and I absolutely loved it. So anyway, be sure to thumbs up this video, click subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and leave in the comments below what you think of Share Live. Until next time, my name is Charles, and happy slotting, and we will see you on the next episode of the Slot Museum. Goodbye. <laughs>